Hello, guys. Last we left off, I didn't save the game, really, guys. But, uh, the game wouldn't save, so I was, like, just so upset. But, um, yeah. Like I said before, guys, have mods. And always thinking about the mods. As you know, Pastel Sims uses mods, and... I'm pretty sure other YouTubers who play Sims play have mods. Also, I'm gonna play a new game. So, today I wanted to play like a new game. And if you wanna know, I'm doing XSplit Gamecaster. I was looking up like um, recording things because my OBS studios was acting up. And today I, um, Decided to record, as you can see. So ignore that in the corner, guys. I'm sorry if you can see that. But I am going to actually play a new game. And this time, I'm going to take it out. Not on these pathetic little foes. I know Summer Holiday and Johnny Zest will have a thing going for them. And eventually, Travis Scott and Candy will have a thing going for them. But right now, I want to make Alexander Goth cute. I'm going to make, like, Alexander Goth have the perfect dream girl he's always dreamed of. Who's this, by the way? Oh, that's Malcolm Langrat. Maybe I will do, I'm going to do a whole story around Alexander Goth as a child. Basically, what's going to happen is, we're just going to go to Magic Worlds, and I like saving, it's going to matter in this game. Um, let's just hope that this game uploads the way it should be. Anyway, um... Basically, for any of this, I'm going to play around Alexander Goth. What's going to happen is, I'm going to like age up Alexander Goth to a, like a teenager and then a young adult, and he's going to be running the goth business, or whatever his dad does. And I'm going to try to find some, like, I don't know what I'm going to do, probably cheats. So, um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So I'm just waiting to get to Manage Worlds. But what's going to happen is, there's a whole story I'm going to do, a whole, a whole thing around Alexander Goth, and what he's going to do. Basically, what's going to happen is, he is literally going to be the bad boy that everyone will think he is. His mom left, his father and his mother divorced, his sister is very ignoring of him, and um, what's going to happen is... Cassandra Goth is going to, I think, try to kill herself. Um, if I can find the extreme violence mod here. But most of all, guys, while you're waiting, subscribe to my channel and like and subscribe. I'm still working on the streaming stuff because that's annoying as hell for YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. You're Um, if this game would hurry up, and if my game crashes, I'm going to be so upset. Anyway, um, so what happened is Cassandra Goth, and basically, oh yeah, I forgot, and while I was playing the game by myself, I killed off more and more Goth, and how Cassandra Goth, I don't know if, how it works in The Sims 4, but obviously... In Sims 2 and Sims 3, like, if your players, if your player was, had a parent, if you had, like, a parent in the game for Sims 2 or 3, like, and there was just one kid there, the kid was a kid, obviously. If your player was a grown-up and they died and they had a kid with them, the kid would be sent off to daycare and the, it would be game over for the entire game. I can just imagine somebody playing, like, a challenge where it's, I think it's, I wanted to call it like, um, the kill off all your sins in your household challenge, or I want to call it the sins for how many generations can you survive challenge, but obviously that's not what's going on right here, and, um, I'm just trying to, like, 
Like, I know there's, like, an extreme violence mod where toddlers and kids can, like, kill their family members, all that stuff. But I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna make, like, um, Alexander, like, a killer or anything. First of all, I'm gonna age him up and make him a teenager, like his sister. His sister's gonna be a young adult, obviously, and, um, I'll age up Cassandra while I'm at it. Despite, like, everything else, like, he's gonna, um, try probably burn down the house. Who knows? I know that toddlers in the extreme violence mod... Like, I think, uh, Extreme Violence Mod for toddlers. Yeah, like, toddler. They can kill, they can set fires and all that stuff. And I don't know, because usually, like, a fire will be put out by, like, mythical or a visible, like, streamers and stuff. Also, guys, I will be doing more of Sims lately. And if you guys want me to do Sims 2 or Sims 3, just put it out there and I will. But also like and subscribe to my channel and you can um see more of Sims 4 content. Right now I'm just going to be doing playing Sims 4 because that's possibly right now my all-time favorite game. I don't have all the Sims 2 expansion packs because one, I didn't even know Sims 2 was a thing until like I started liking Sims. And I do have some Sims 3, like I don't have all of them. I gave away some of the um games and I didn't even know I was going to get a new computer so I didn't know so I gave away some of the um games I had to other to friends who needed them and this is the longest loading screen ever but still loving Sims 4 I will play some Sims 3 and Sims 3 is not really my favorite game it was a like before Sims 4 it was my old it was my second favorite my all time favorite is Sims 2 obviously who doesn't love Sims 2? I mean, it's like Sims 4, but much better. Sure, you can't, like, change the looks they have, but there's so much custom content, so many mods you could use, so many things in Sims 4 that are worthy of using. The custom content is amazing and everything like that. But also, like, what basically I was talking about a minute ago is the whole, like, child thing, where, like, um... When um, the parent dies, the child will, um, the children will be taken away or something like that. But I guess because Cassandra's a teenager, you in The Sims 2, she's a young adult about to be married off to Don, what, what was his name? And Alexander was still a kid, yes, but, um, like, yeah. Anyway, like, um, I guess because Cassandra's, like, A, a teen, I guess her and Alexander have the house to themselves now. I mean, Bella went off and married and, um, Bella went off and, like, met someone new, and she's got, like, two, three kids with, um, this person, and also, I think she's pregnant with an alien baby? I don't know. I made her go to the other world where I saw a video about it. Anyway, um, no, we're not gonna be funny with, Cass with Cassandra. Did I? I said Cassandra, but people say usually Cassandra. I don't know. Anyway, like, Bella is, went off and bit, went with someone else, divorced her father, divorced Alexan Alexander and Cassandra's father, Mortimer, and Mortimer was killed by, um, I think it was one of my other characters I played early, a long time ago. I really forgot. Anyway, let's check on the cake. Really? Take a selfie? Now? Anyway, I'm gonna, like, age up, I'm probably gonna age up Alexander to, like, a young adult event, like, right now. I'm just gonna, like, go full-on, like, adult. And his sister, Cassandra, is gonna be a young adult. And I'm probably gonna get Cassandra out there. I'm gonna, like, change their bot, their looks and the, everything like that. Like, like, Pastel Sim said, like, uh, um, EA skin and EA, like, hair and all that stuff. It's not really that cute. And I agree with her for once. Pastel Sims, um, if you're out there, love the fact that you actually care about the custom content. Why are you putting it in the fridge? Oh, Cassandra's useless. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put this out here. Who is texting me?
Seriously, I can't put the fucking cake down. Okay, there we go. What? Why can't I... Thank you. Only when it's, like, close to the fucking counter. That doesn't happen in real life. See, the mechanics in The Sims 4 are kind of ridiculous. At the same time, very awesome. They really are, like, not that bad, but also, like, I just don't like them. They're just so bad. Like, the mechanics, like, The Sims 2 had a lot of good mechanics that I just loved about Sims so much that I fell in love with the game. But Sims 3, the mechanic, like, they don't have that cool mechanic. In Sims 4, they have too many mechanics, but also because, like, um... I now notice, like, everyone noticed, started noticing, like, um, oh, I didn't even know I had the siren thing going on, oh, I forgot, I added, like, all these new, um, I had, like, all these new traits and everything like that. Like, this one, I think some of them came with, like, mods. Like, this one, disable reaction seasons will not react to celebrities. And, like, over here, like, the depressed trait. This will make them so depressed. Like, depression is a big thing, people, and everyone knows that. But they'll be depressed all the time. And you know, nothing you say can stop them. And also, there's the fairy tale princess trait, where you'll be acting like a fairy tale princess, and you'll find your significant other also being a fairy tale prince. I want like a siren option, and there's there, you will get a third option. So I'll make him a fairy tale prince, and I'm gonna have him add more birthday candles to this. Then we'll end up Cassandra, and I will change the looks because I know there are a lot of people in The Sims like having bad days and like the looks and everything like that, like. Okay, get off your phone. Age up. Again. Anyway, like, Sim, like, I know it's like people said, like, a lot of people complain about there being no cars in The Sims 4. And it was in Sims 2 and Sims 3. And true enough, yes, you could have had, like, cars in The Sims 3. I mean, Sims 2. In The Sims 2, the cars are not so bad. Okay. A siren means he's a very big romantic and he will attract women no matter what. Anyway, like, um... Okay, so we're gonna go... Alexander's a young adult. I really could have actually kept him at teenagehood, but I actually just wanted him to be a young adult anyway. I could reverse time, but I don't want to. Anyway, um... And plus, I don't want them around... I don't want Alexander around the cake. I don't trust them being around that damn cake. So, um, but yeah, like, I know people, like, complained about there being no cars in The Sims 4, because, probably, because, the problem, I think the probably the reason EA, like, took away this, those, that mechanic in The Sims 4 is because, like, um, the reason I think that, um, EA took away the cars thing is because, like, nobody probably wanted to drive, and the reason, like, um, that you see those little subway things passing by, it's really weird. Also, one of the kids I actually had with my other Sims. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Like, Alexander Goss' room is all the way up here, which is the weirdest mechanic I've ever had. Yeah, change, change. Now. I know going up here is useless and ridiculous. Eventually, I will get Alexander, like, get a job, and I will change him and Cassandra both, because you can change them both. That's the best thing about the game. Also, the best thing that people loved about the game is, like, you see how their mood is, like, they're flirty, or they're sad, or bored, or anything like that, or they're just fine. And also, how you can change their, their movements, the way they look, and their body, and everything like that. That's the best mechanic in the game. But I think the moving cars thing is, like, the downside of the game. 
because people love the cars the way they looked and plus there was there's a lot of custom content for um the cars in sims 3 sims 2 not many good cars to choose from sure there were cars you could download for custom content like i said custom content is like the bread and butter of sims games it's just the best and I hope this recording goes well, because I do not feel like recording this again. And I probably won't, because I'll be going to see Avengers Infinity War. Um, write down in the comment section how many of you you guys are going to go see Avengers Infinity War. Also, this adopt a baby thing probably will happen. And also, um, how many of you are going to go see Avengers Infinity War this Friday? Or Saturday, who, who knows. But how many of you are going to go see this Friday? Because that would be a blessing. I can't wait. Anyway, like, um, I just, like, love everything about my Sims, and, like, The Sims 4 has a lot to offer when it comes to, like, when it comes down to it, I really do... I don't really want Alexander to have, like, yeah, that light blue eyes. Anyway, like, I really am excited for that movie. But other than that, I really do, I don't like these lips. Not those. Neither that nose. There we go. Anyway, um, like, that's the best mechanic in the game. But yeah, like, I'm so excited for the, for the, this, this movie coming out, and, like, it's gonna be so good. But also, guys, like, just, like, having it all is just, like, amazing. Like, I want Alexander to be buff. Not, like, jock buff, but also, like, just buff. Anyway, like, I just want to, like, say that I just, I want Avengers Infinity War to be good. Anyway, back to the game. So, basically what I was trying to say is that I think that Alexander should be gay. I'm not trying to, like, diss any gay people, anyone who's gay out there. I'm just saying, like, Alexander probably will be the emo type that will go out with any guy he seems, he deems worthy. And I love this, like, like, the updates for the game are so good. The outfits, some of the Max's Match game, like, clothes, they're not that bad, actually. I like them. And I have my own custom content for male and female so, that doesn't bother me that much, but, um, mostly I picked out more women clothes than I did men, because I just choose random monium for them. I choose that random for the male clothes and all that stuff. So, yeah, um, like, I just choose that random for, like, the male look. That hair is ridiculous. Like, I need to choose more male hair when it comes down to it. And I need to, like, um... Like, I could go for this look of hair. Actually, I like this more better. And I would like some, like, lighter hair because the black is hurting my eyes for a little bit. Anyway, um... Like, I just 
just love everything about the Sims games. I mean, it's not that bad. Don't get me wrong. I do love that Sims is, like, trying their best to be the best game ever. And I can see why. I do think that they're trying. Okay, those shoes look a little bit better. Anyway, um, what do you all think? How do you like Sims 2, 3, or 4? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And, well, this is just going to be like designing the new outfit. Now, now, the one thing I like about this like Sims game is that Sims in general are just fascinating to me. And I got I got this Max's Match like stuff like this is all custom content guys so don't worry about it. Wait, was that something on the back? Cause I always oh yeah I got this like a Bonnie and Clyde T-shirt Clyde number three. All I need is life sin. So yeah, I got that. Also, no shirt. No bunny slippers. You know, where's my slippers? No, not this game. Anyone who was wearing bunny slippers either. Anyway, um. No. No sunglasses. Ugh. Anyway, um. I just, like. It's just everything about The Sims. Like, the custom content is so much better than I imagined. But also because, like, I just love everything about that custom content. And it's, it's more, it's more or less better. More or less, it's better than your original, like, stuff. Like, you, like, Max's Match, eh, we all have our Max's Match times. But, truly enough, Max's Match cannot compare to this. I mean, Max's, Max's Match clothes are cool and all, but they're nothing compared to this. Oh, this is, like, the, the shirts that came with Get Together. Like, I got that for Christmas. I think I want this kind of shirt. I mean, this is cool, right? That is awesome. I would love a t-shirt like that. Anyway, like, um... Anyway, but still, like, the best thing about Sims is not just, like, um... Just, not just the game. It's the custom content that just gets me going. Because I just... I love that custom content. I mean, where are you gonna... Where are you gonna find a game like that? And, yeah, there are probably, like, tons of games out there on the internet that you can, like, get a game like this. And it's so much better now for Cassandra Goth. And I agree, guys. Like, get some fat on those legs, girl. Seriously, no one has chicken legs. Sorry. I gotta stop saying that. Anyway, um... I just really like love this game, and the custom content is is really amazing. And I know people, some people like Max's Match, all that stuff, and it's not that bad. I don't, I don't mind any kind of Max's Match, like stuff. And that doesn't bother me at all. Cassandra, you, my friend, need a makeover. See, that's the best thing about the game. Like, you can adjust their body and what they look like and their shoulder pads and everything like that. But, yeah, Cassandra has been at dying for a freaking makeover. But, yeah, like, that's the best thing. Like, all this cousin, like all this stuff I have for girl, like, content, all that stuff, it's the best thing about the game. And, um, yeah. But I just want to, like, add something to Cassandra Groth because, like... There's no way she's going to wear that school outfit for the rest of her life. And I will change the hair. Like I told you guys, I have a lot of stuff for girl content. And I have a lot of girl shirts and content. So, and you see where my point is going right now? 
Okay, Cassandra, you can wear that. Anyway, let's just get to, down to it. See, I have, like, a, a lot of girl shorts. I don't wear those, like, booty shorts. Nothing wrong with that, guys. But I just don't like, I just don't wear them. One, I probably am not allowed to wear them. And two, yeah, I know, I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, Sarah, but you're, but you're 18. Yeah, I'm 18, but I, one, my mom probably doesn't want me wearing those. I feel like I'm scantily clothed. But two, I just don't like it and it's just not that good okay now Cassandra's hair obviously has to be black we cannot make it any other color than that give her a makeover please she's dying for one now I could give her like this I'm sorry my computer like oh yes that that's what I want uh, I wish I could edit off to the side a little bit but again Let's give her some makeup. Like, she needs some makeup on her. Seriously, Cassandra needs some makeup. But yeah, um, alright. Let's see what we got. I think we can do this. Yeah, like, Cassandra needs, okay, first of all, I don't want her, I don't want, I can't even, I have, I have brown eyes, but I don't, I can't even see her eyes. Ooh. Like, she has those, when you look at it, she has those, um, they don't want her eyes to be like the same as everyone else's, because everyone else's eyes, they have like that, um, oh, now I know what they mean by having, like, gray eyes. Okay, yeah. Cause I want her to have a good look, and I want her to look like cute and everything like that. Maybe I'll give her some earrings. Like I won't give her those big earrings. I'll give her um some of these. Maybe a necklace. Like I downloaded a lot of custom content for a lot of things, and I do. Don't get me wrong. I love my custom content, but the Max is Match stuff it just doesn't like fit it. And I understand why Pastel Sims like hates on Max's match and like EA for having so much stupid stuff on stupid Max's match on the internet or for the game for ma that matter. Maybe we can add some. Now those boots don't, they don't, they don't, they just don't look like, they just don't look right. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, those look a little bit better. Okay, let's go to, um, no, Cassandra, these ugly ass clothes. I see why Pastel Sims doesn't particularly like Max's match that much, and I can see why. Because, like, it's just so bad. Now, go back to your regular, to, maybe I can find her some, like, cute hair. Like, there was, there, I had, I download a lot of custom content in the game, so... There has, I know I had a piece of, uh, like, some hair where, um, it fit her bill. Because I don't want her to have, like, that, um, non-darkish hair. And some of the hair doesn't even fit into the game, like, this kind of hair, just, I will, not, not this kind. I meant this kind, like, this kind, like, just flips out on me. And that kind as well, just mess with the game. And I know that's like it's like messing with the game all stuff. And this is the original hair for Bella, so I'm surprised her character looks the same. Now there's no black in there. So I need some like black somewhat. But I also wanted to look elegant also 
while looking awesome. So maybe some black in here. I mean, I want Cassandra Goth to look her best. I mean, she has been dying for a makeover, and I can see why. She needs one. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing any stab wounds in the game, so no, that's not going to happen. Okay, so I'm just going to add decorator list myself. Thank you, EA Games. That looks so much better. Seriously. How is this not better, guys? It's so much better than what is in the game right now. And that definitely looks like a Sandra Goth right there. Anyway, okay, so let's get her a nice looking dress. I don't want her to wear like a t-shirt and all that stuff. Now when it comes to dresses, I was looking for a fairy tale like game, part of the game. Or I could just play the game like in a fairy tale like reality. Like princessy, Disney princess like. And this is basically what I was going for. And I usually like Sandra Goth would go for the normal a gothic approach. And, or, she go Dracula. But then again, like, I was going for, like, that approach. When it came to, like, dressing up my girls. You see, I have a lot of outfits here. So, um, yeah. You see, she could go for the gothic approach, but, um, I don't want her to. Anyway, um, like, I have this thing in the game where, um, I could play as one sim, and, um, I could play as one sim, and there's, like, this, this little thing. It's, like, the BM game. I'm not gonna name names. Because I'm too scared to say the name anyway. Anyway, um, oh, we can get Sandra Goth in like this kind of outfit. Alright, I'll go for that. Um, but yeah, there's like this thing in the game where, um, I didn't even know where that one came from. Anyway, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um... I really forgot what I was saying. But, um... Like, I just, I want Cassandra to look her best. And, most of all, like, custom content in the game is free, guys, just so you know. And, it's not for ordering or anything like that. Like, you want to buy the games, order it online if you want. Okay, let's make Cassandra look very nice. Like, I know, like, talking over this is pretty much boring to you guys, and I'm sorry if you're all bored. I really am. I'm not trying to bore you. I really am not. Um... I just want to, like, get Cassandra and, and um, her brother looking nice. So, yeah. I mostly wanted necklaces like these or, like, something like this was shorter. And I was trying to go for that, but um, I couldn't get that because they wouldn't download. Thank you again. Yay. But, man, does this look good? I know you can see the earrings behind all this. Okay. Check this out, guys. Like, this is perfect. It goes with a different hairstyle, and I got the Ravenna crown, if you don't remember Ravenna, from the Huntsman, so why in the Huntsman, or the Huntsman in general, Winter's War, yeah, I bet you don't, oh, this hair, you know, I'm gonna change the hair first, and then I'm going to freaking do something about that, There. Okay, I'm gonna change the hair first of all before I go to anything like the outfits. Ooh. 
Ooh, hold up. Nobody told me that Cassandra Goth could have this kind of look, this good looking hair right here. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll give her the like looking like she's a punk rock star. She looks like she's dressed like a punk rock star right now. First of all, I'm going to do a favor. Get rid of those socks. Thank you. Also, I have these shorts for the for like um Cassandra to wear and I want her to wear something cute. Something that stands out. But also, I wanted to look like she's got that gothic chic thing going on. Oh, maybe I can get one to match her. Her um, she looks like she's going out. She's gonna go out. I want. I want like a shirt that says something like goth, like um. I guess not, okay. I guess I'll just have her, like, wear that to match her outfit. So, that's her, like, sleepwear. Oh, where do I begin? First of all, get rid of this Max's Match jewelry. That's the only thing I got a problem with, is the Max's Match jewelry. Because it's just terrible. Now, I wanted to be like a party girl. And I wanted to like do all this fun stuff. Now, I don't want to cop. I'm not trying to copy like the Harley Quinn look when it comes down to it. I just want like Cassandra to have this like urge to party. Now, I could go for those or I could go for full on like that. What's this one? Oh, that's just regular. I wanted to have like different colored. Ooh, I could go for a full on pink makeover. Or I could do the rainbow thing. The neon colors. I could have her go for that. Or that. Like Valentine's Day colors. Uh, but I think I'll just go for this one. Because this one's much cuter. I like that. And it's just so awesome. Now, I want her to look like she's going to a real party. So, where is that Harley Quinn outfit, if I can find it in here? Not this Suicide Squad excuse for a whole Harley Quinn look. If I can't find that part, at least give me, like, the whole... Not this sad excuse for an outfit. I'm looking for... Ah, like I want to wear like a scantily clothed like t-shirt. True, she could wear off. Trying to be off to the side, are you? Now, what I was going to do, I was going to make Cassandra like a scantily clothed girl. And she was going to wear like shorts and all that stuff. And maybe I can make her wear this. And add some leggings in there. Because I never did download anything for leggings when it came down to it. I need to mean like cover the leggings. What shorts will do that? Now these kind of shorts do. What? 
you mean you had the Harley Quinn outfit the whole time? <sighs> Let's go back up for a minute. Perfect. All right. That's just what I wanted. Um, like, I want Cassandra to go out and have a good time. See, these be perfect. If fucking EA wasn't doing this to me. See, I chose these boots specifically because I thought they were going to be perfect. And they are, but they're too darn... Wait. Now. I want these so badly. Uh, but I guess you can't win them all. Anyway, I gotta pick. I want her to have some boots on when she's like going out and partying and all that stuff. Or maybe I can just give her these. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna give her those. And I'm also gonna give her like the Harley Quinn makeup look. I don't know. Do they have the face paint? Yep, they do. Let me give her like this. No. Like she just got punched in the face look. All right. That's the look I was really going for. I want her to be all like, I don't care or whatever. And Why is that purple? All right, whatever. Anyway, um, I could wear make her wear the put in necklace. Yeah, I'll just wear I can wear that. Let's see, um, Nothing for like a headband purposes. Either that or they just took it out of the game. Okay, I know I wasn't supposed to work on the outfit or all, but still, like. I just want Cassandra to be like, um, I don't care. I'll go to a book or whatever. This video is getting a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but thankfully, guys, I have all day. I have all day. So, yay. 
Um, anything else I'm, I missed? I already got her. Athletic, of course. I missed athletic and knight, I think. Knight I already got. Party I already got. I only need a zoo athletic. And then we can play the game. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could change the look. I really forgot that mechanic even existed. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, let's change the shirt for a bit. Um, no, stop zooming in. Which reminds me, when people are like running or doing any gym activities, people don't wear their hair down. Uh, I should know, I was one of those people. They usually have the hair up. Okay, let me give her some shoes, and then we sh we can go to the game, guys. Yeah, I'll just give her these shoes. But like I said, party outfit. Looks like she's ready for a freaking rager. What? Change the hair back. Golly. You know, I'll just keep her in that outfit for now. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get back to the game. But yeah, guys, like, seriously, play Sims 4. And if you guys want me to play, if you want more one more um, content from Sims, I'll, I'll offer to play Sims 2 or 3. Or maybe if you guys want, I can play both. Anyway, there may not be any volume in the game because I don't want volume in the game. So when we get to the game, we're gonna play we're gonna like see if we can get Alexander Goth to hook up with some guy. Maybe we'll get him a girlfriend. Who knows? I'll take a vote later. But, um, Cassandra Goth is going to be, I don't, I really don't want to say slut because that would be horrible to say to anybody. But, um, I'm going to play this game my way, guys. So, um, yeah. Um, let me just. And then post it to their only the subscribers watch the video or something like that. But thankfully, guys, I can do a lot of that. And I have a feeling that I just want to like just relax and watch it. Besides, I would love to just watch this all the time. And I will get back to theory videos. I don't know when I'm gonna do vlogs. Probably when I start getting like a camera or something like that. And also, guys, my birthday is about to come up. So yay! I'm gonna be 19 soon. And yes, you all thought I was like 12. I'm not 12. I am freaking 18 years old. So yes, my birthday will be coming up soon and I cannot wait to be free of my home. Ugh. Don't get me wrong, I love my family, but they just get me wrong sometimes. And I will do vlogs eventually if I ever get my own place. I hope to get my own place in LA, meet a guy there, and get married be happy. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 
like I was saying before, just want to reach that thousand subscriber count and get that 4,000 watch hour. Because YouTube is my only job right now, guys. So really, don't have a problem with it. And I hope that YouTube will be my job in the future. If not, I'll have to just go into nursing. Please do not make me go into nursing, guys. Ugh. Anyway, back to what, back to the game. If it will load fast, er. Anyway, um, like I said, thank you. Finally, um, okay. So, but like I said, guys, I just like you two. Wants I want you to be my job and. I want it to be a good job. So yeah, can't can't wait. Anyway, um, I want to have Alexander. Um, I really don't want to go back to the loading screen because that's gonna take forever. But seriously though, Alexander and Cassandra are not gonna meet others on the internet. It's not gonna work like that. I wonder. Anyway, guys, like I said, Wicked Whims mod. Sorry if I haven't been talking. But, um, I was just, um, I was just thinking, like, um, I know that, um, I know for a fact that, um, what was I trying to say? I know, like, you two want, I want you to be my job, and, like, I don't really mind, oh, okay, so that's how that goes, like, I want, like, I just want you to be my job. I really want to have like YouTube for a job and I know people are like saying like YouTube's not that it's not like a job or anything like that. It's supposed to be like not that bad. Anyway, like that's how it is. But that's just what I wanted to do. Like I just I wanna make videos for a living and I do wanna play my gameplays, but I don't think people are gonna like listen look at my recordings more than Markiplier, or Jack or Zetakai or literally GT Live. So can't really say much for that. Anyway, um, I want to have this. I know, like, um, the rape settings in this game are, like, weird. Especially for, like, brother and sister. Like, I want Alexander God to have the urge to sleep with a woman. But also, like, his first time to be with his own sister. Like, he's a really, he's gonna be flirty all the time because he's, like, because if you haven't noticed, like, uh, Alexander Goff is a siren, he's a siren, and he's gonna be a siren all the time. So, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna have these two go upstairs. And they're, I don't know what that's gonna be like. Um, let me go up to Cassandra first of all. Because this is the Wicked Wins mod, if you all don't know that. Um...
Yeah, I hate that. But, um, this is like, um... I'm just gonna take that off for a second. Like, the first time, I just don't want to, like, show anything, like, inappropriate on screen. And that'd be wrong. So, yeah. I'm keeping the rest of their clothes on. But, truly enough, I just don't want to, like, get demonetized. Why would I get demonetized? I'm not even monetized in the first place. I just don't want to, like, get copyright strikes for any nudity or anything like that on the internet. But, truly enough, I'm just gonna let that happen. And I'm gonna speed up time and all that stuff. And, yes, the pregnancy thing. And I'm not trying to, like, get Cassandra Goth, like, knocked up by her own brother. Like, I'm not gonna have that. I'm just gonna have, like, Alexander. He's becoming a young adult. He literally wants to see the action. And I'm gonna get him out there eventually. What are they doing? Oh, okay. Change positions. Never mind. Um. Anyway, like, I just want to, like, have Alexander, like, have a boyfriend or girlfriend. And maybe he'll get into a, like, a gay, like, relationship. I want, like, Cassandra Groth to be the one to, like, I know I don't, I don't have the prostitution mod, so I don't know how Pastel Sims got that through via her little, um, life cycle. I don't know how she, like, got that through her computer. My computer is even, probably even more shitty there than, shittier than hers. Anyway, um... So, what happened? I have the Wicked Women's mod, and yes. But it's gotta be, like, a little accident. So, anyway, like... I just wanted Alexander to, like, I want, I don't know if I'm going to get Alexander a girlfriend, or he's probably going to be, like, the one to have a girlfriend and then be on, on accident, kill his own wife. And literally after a rage party, like, he's going to kill his wife, and Cassandra Goss going to be the whore of the town, and she's going to sleep with almost every single male in the pack. Okay. Anyway, um... Okay, inappropriate. Close back on. Anyway, um, like... But most of all, like... I just want, like, Alexander probably get him a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Who knows? Um, maybe he'll be, like, used... Like, probably I'll have him, like... You know what I'll do. I'll have Cassandra, like, she's gonna be, like the whore of the town, and, um, what's gonna happen is, Alexander's gonna have a girlfriend, and then one of the, like, one of the neighbors is gonna, like, she's, he's gonna have, like, an intimate relationship with his, with his sister that he obviously doesn't know about. What he's gonna have is, like, a romantic relationship with his sister that, she, that his girlfriend's not gonna know about, and, um, who knows, maybe I'll make his sister his girlfriend. Maybe I can change the relationship of how they really look. Of how they really are. Um, who knows, maybe I can make them, like, a relationship. Like, most brother, some, I know from movie experience, like, brother and sister, like, sometimes have a relationship together. Mostly because they're probably step family. But, then again, like... Nothing like that comes clear enough. But then again, maybe Alexander's girlfriend will be this one. Will be Cassandra Goth, his own sister. Ew. First of all, I don't encourage this in real life. And second of all, even if you do like your brother or sister in real life, don't sleep with them. That's weird and it's gonna be awkward. And I'm not saying I have my fair experience with this. I don't have any siblings. But don't I don't encourage this. Basically, what's going to happen is Alexander is going to be, like, captured and abused and raped by this, this man who's literally been wanting Alexander in his bed for for months. And I know for a fact, the Wicked Women's mod, if any of you have Wicked Women's mod, male or female, whether you have a male and female together, or male and male and female and female, you can't have kids. That's just not the way it works. And even if, like... 
yes, you can woohoo on the spot, and that'd be amazing. That's something that came with another mod, I think, that came with the Road to Fame, I guess. I don't know. Okay, they're naked. Um, I'll have to, like, I can't edit that out. But, um, guys, just, like, um, I don't know why the volume's not working in the game, but it was working earlier. So, yeah. I don't know why, but I'm gonna, like, have an older gentleman, like, live next door to Cassandra and... I'm gonna have, like, Alexander find out that his sister, his sister who he's been in love with for a while, literally, oh, they put their clothes back on. I'm gonna find have him come in and find out that his sister was been cheating. And I know I have the jealousy trade off, but I'm literally gonna have him find out. And that jaw, he's like Captain America, except without the Steve Rogers looking hair. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to have, like, Cassandra's going to go out to, like, a club tonight, and we're going to have her find a cute boy to flirt with. I should have made her have the siren trait, which actually would have made it better. So, yeah, we're going to have, um, no, she's not going to get pregnant. You know what, in fact, let me turn the pregnancy thing off. Until I want Cassandra to, like, have get pregnant or anything like that, um... Yeah, I will not have this sim get pregnant. So, yeah, um, I don't want Cassandra getting pregnant just yet. So what we're going to do is she's going to go travel alone. But yeah, she really is in love with her brother, and that's just a fact. Like, I think we're just going to have Cassandra beat Cassandra Goth be... Alexander Goss girlfriend and eventually Cassandra will die from over exhaustion over the years What we're gonna do is we're gonna have her like she's gonna go to the blue velvet nightclub Usually the gym is where you meet like a lot of people But I rather have her go to the club and what she's gonna do is she's gonna I don't have the prostitution mod Which means I cannot and I had extreme violence mod where you could like twerk for money and it's same thing goes for pastel sims like her channel is more successful than mine and she does sims 4 games she plays Sims 4 games, so, yeah, you can see where that's going. Anyway, um, like, that's just how it is. But most of all, I probably should save the game, because I don't feel like doing Cassandra Goth and Alexander Goth's looks all over again. And I made that mistake once and twice. So as soon as I get, lo as soon as the game loads up and we're done traveling, like, I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna, like, edit the game. I'm gonna, I mean, save the game. Duh. What's wrong with me today? Probably because I just had a test. I didn't even know I had a test. And that was the weirdest thing ever. Huh. <sighs> anyway. Back to what I was saying. Now, also guys, can you imagine, um, Captain America having a kid? Like, his daughter, Miss America? <laughs> uh, Mistress America? Okay, whatever. But, seriously. Um, how many of you think that Captain America is going to die in Infinity War? Uh, I don't want anybody spoiling it for me. I'm gonna go see it in two days. Two days from now, it'll be... I'll be seeing it for a whole two hours, sitting in that theater, and can't wait. I hope you all got If you are going this Friday, hope you got your tickets, because I sure as hell don't. Anyway, okay, we're gonna change Cassandra into her party-looking wear. Okay, where is she? Change outfit. Please still have the hair. Like, this is only for formal occasions, but Cassandra's got this look going on of disinterest. Also, this is the guy who killed um, Mortimer Goth, Cassandra Goth's father. I should have made her a siren where she's so into it. Anyway, Sergio is my character that I played a while ago. A while, as in a long time ago, who actually has seven kids now, and many of them are, he's lone, I call him the player of this town, and he's gonna get Cassandra Goth, he's gonna knock up Cassandra Goth constantly, and she's not gonna get pregnant. I know that that doesn't happen in real life, I know physics don't work in this game all the time, but, um, like, 
he's because Sergio is like the player of this town because I don't know what happened to my marriage proposal in this game. It broke, and I can't have him propose to Cassandra Goth because that's not going to happen. I have to cheat my way to get the marriage to happen, so that's that's perfect. Anyway, Sergio is going to like sleep with Bella Goth. I mean, ah, Cassandra, he's already... I'm, what am, okay, this is going to be weird because Sergio had two babies with um Cassandra Goth's mother. And that's an alien. That's not weird whatsoever. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna give a bold pickup pick line. Oh, also, this is Jay Rose. Oh, yep. Yep. Actually, you know what? Bring Alexander Goth here. He's got so much bold move right now, I could kiss him. Oh, pajamas out of him. Change outfit, like... I really for oh yes yes get him since he's like a siren I'm gonna have him hook up with Candy. I know I had another character in the game like he was gonna hook up with Candy, but um no. Anyway, I could have him hook up with Jay Rosa, but apparently Sergio is like into that. Oh, and also that's a ghost. Oh, Sergio's flirty. Of course he's flirty. We he's I made him flirty. Actually, I did make him flirty. He's just like that. Also, Jay's gonna get super jealous, even though I took the jealousy trait off of the game. Wow. I took I took the jealousy trait. Oh, this is awkward. Sergio is here with his three mistresses. I got this girl. I served, when I was playing Sergio, this was like off screen. Cause I was I had him get her knocked up. Jay Rosa and Bella Goth. What is Bella Goth doing here? She people say Bella Goth is the prettiest girl in the Sims 4 game. Bella, your daughter is the competition right now, even though she looks like a skank. Sorry. But um also, what is Bella Goth doing in the game in general? That's the thing I have like a problem with. Because um Bella was um, the whole thing is that Bella Goth's disappearance is the biggest mystery in the Sims games ever. She's not in Sims 3. She disappeared all the time since 4 in Sims 2. And there's a there's a way to like bring Bella Goth in Sims 2. Like in Sims 2, there's a way to bring her back, but um like you never know how. Also, gonna get you and Candy hooked up together. Like, I know I was going for, like, his sister, and he will still always have a thing for his sister, so no doubt about that. Anyway, um, Cassandra? I know this is a long video. It's gonna be a very long video, possibly. I don't know how long it is on YouTube terms, because it's 62, 68 minutes right now. Oh, he just rejected me. You know what? I am gonna cheat. I am gonna cheat. And I can't see a damn thing, which is a shame. Sergio. Thanks, you're not helping. Seriously, shorten Cassandra's name. That's way too many letter letters and A's in there. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I know you want me to play the game. You probably want me to play the game the right- WHAT?! Oh! I just messed it up. Dang it. Dang it! And I can't see a thing behind, like, um... This little thing. Like, if I mess something up, it's gonna be... I'm gonna have a meltdown. I'm probably gonna scream, and I can't scream because there's my mom's home, and I don't want I don't want to scream. There we go. Okay, I'm also. Dang it! I probably messed it up. M O D I S Y S.
Like, I know this is cheating, but most people in The Sim, when they play Sims, like, on live, on, when they're recording the game, or playing it for your, for your YouTube audience, they cheat. So, and I know that's probably gonna be, like, bad, and I don't mind. I'm not trying to make them, like, soulmates or anything like that, guys. I'm not. Oh, and she's into it. Of course, he's got the siren trait. He's always gonna be romantic. Anyway, like, um... I really just, like, want them... What? When did this happen? Because if I recall, I actually had a 100% relationship with this guy. Oh, it's Candy's flirty. Okay, so, um, we're on a good, we're, okay, so, from what I've seen, we're off to a pretty good start with Candy, or we were until we got awkward, thank you. This is the worst thing about the game. This is why I see why people love cheats so much. Because, like, cheats are the best thing in the in the game. Also, yes, there we go. It took a while to upload. Anyway, um... No, we're not asking him to move in. Don't you just hate it when the Sims, like, start doing push-ups out of the random? Okay. So we were off to a good start with Candies, but why? Why now is she awkwardly upset? Or embarrassed for that matter. I'm very, very confident right now. She's like freaking embarrassed. Where did she get embarrassed? Seriously. Okay, so we're in a with Sergio, and obviously he's gonna be banging Cassandra the entire time because, and eventually we're gonna turn the jealousy trait where Alexander's gonna find out. And actually, we need someone else to like be gay. And no, they cannot be a they cannot be a dead ghost. I'm just imagining Bella just standing here like so. What? Okay, you know what? You're pushing my buttons, Sims. What's her name again? Candy Bear or something like that. Here, so I just stored his name down to Alex. In fact, I will change, in fact, maybe in, in the next episode I'll change, like, um, Alexander and... Maybe I can, re like, remove the relationships of, like, Cassandra and uh, Alexander being siblings, maybe, and I'll change their names eventually. You know, I'm just going to go full on because I want. Because I want Alexander to have a girlfriend. It was going to be Cassandra because I was thinking, like, why waste time going out and getting a girlfriend for Alexander? Because he's going to be molested and tortured eventually. Okay. There. I know, guys. I know. Cheating, cheating, cheating. It's bad. But still. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get back to Cassandra. Anyway, um, I want Cassandra to be like, since they're both the whore of the towns, I'm going to literally do this. But what was that? Who's having who? <sighs> okay, we're just going to leave that alone. That's none of our business. Anyway, I see why Bella actually... Okay, we're going to leave them to that. And Candy and Alexander are going to, like, do it. 
No, I mean, they're not going to do it. Um, they're going to have their first kiss. When this awkward conversation gets done... And I, this is what I mean. The game's fro is literally freezing up my time and wasting my time. Oh, no, no, that definitely worthy of demonetization right there. Okay. They were already having a pleasant conversation. Shut up then. Come on. By the way, that's a cutie outfit right there. Okay, so we're going to let, um, are you done? They're not done. So what I mean, the game's broken. Anyway, like... Oh, did I forget to turn off, like, um... Did I forget to turn off the jealousy like trait? Yeah, I know your sister is your sweetheart. But, um. Where's the dignity? I didn't even know that was a trait. Is this guy calling the cops? Because we're having a affair in public? No, there is no dignity, so shut the hell up. Okay, but still, like, his sister, he's gonna, like, experience this all the time in their house. And, by the way, their house, I don't want to change anything or anything like that, because, oh, and guess what? The police were called, because somebody was having no dignity in freaking sleeping together. Oh, great, now we're gonna get arrested. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll do a whole story about this, where, um, But also because, like, um, but also, like, because, um, yeah, has to be a girlfriend. Like, I don't want, like, people to actually see, like, the bad side of this. But, um, like, I do not appreciate them calling the cops like that. Like, I get it. People are, like, mad and all that stuff and all that, all that. But also, we could have, like, a ghost. I mean, not, ah, dumb. <sighs> we could have an alien molester, Alexander Goth. That could be true. Or we could just have a random person like this guy. But no, we're not going to have that guy. And don't get me wrong. Love this new scene and new this new, like, life. Also, wait a minute. Is he still fighting? Get. Stop fighting with the cops. You could be shot. Did that mean nothing to you? idiot. Anyway, like, first of all, we're gonna obviously have him and her bang, and I think we should make, like, Cassandra God, like, have a boyfriend. Cassandra's gonna have, like, a boyfriend, and... Basically, what's going to happen is Cassandra's going to get 
Cassandra is going to be the boyfriend of this, is going to, like, bang this guy for a while until finally she ends up pregnant with his kid, and f after finding, after literally finding out that he's been banging out with some other chicks, we're going to have Adam to our household eventually. We're going to add Sergio to our household, which we're going to have to add him away from the household eventually. And, like, um... Great. And, like, we're going to have Sandra end up knocked up with Sergio's kid after literally trying for a baby together. And what's going to happen is, um, let's just say there's going to be a. Alexander is going to comfort his sister. Literally, Alexander, there's going to be, like, a tragedy. I think Alexander is going to lose. Yes, we'll pin that. I'm sorry. But, yes, Alexander will eventually, okay, pin that, too. So, we'll have that with his sister and this and this girl. But, you know what we're going to do first? We're actually going to have this. Like, this is privacy enough. And what's going to happen is we're going to see... What happened? Of course, emotional breakdown for a fine. What we're going to do is we're going to have, um, really? Wait, where the hell is Angelica Huff? Because... Okay, for one time only, we're gonna say goodbye to Candy. Okay. We're going to say goodbye, and what's going to happen is, Sandra, oh, now you two want to have a little romantic time. Okay. No, don't come this way. Oh my gosh. Ugh. What is wrong with people? Okay. Anyway, um... Now that we met some people... Oh, there's Angelica! Okay. So, basically... What we're gonna do is we're gonna have this guy... Looks a little like Markiplier to me. Seriously, you were just talking to Sergio a few seconds ago. What is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. 
No, there will be no goodbyes right now. Then again, we could invite Sergio over to our house. Okay, so I guess we'll have Cassandra go home. Because... Actually, yeah, we'll make her just go home. And Alexander, you are going to... Since... Why? 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 Why, people of good earth, are you doing this? Why, on God's good earth, are you doing this? But, seriously, um... I don't know what this thing is, but apparently she's my life is ruined trait. Cassandra can't take any more stress. The shock will leave her in a bad state for a while. I don't know what that's all about, but all I know is for a fact is like, um, Damien Rivas is stop! Stop! Put some fucking clothes on! Idiots! Anyway, um, uh, why are you sitting down? Don't sit down. Th Walk away. That's what you should be doing. Walking away. Now, you see, um, this is why the Fourier trade doesn't come into handy. Damien is going to literally ad abduct. Okay, so we're going to go and switch controllers to Cassandra Graw, now that we know somebody. But, yeah, like, um, I'll probably cut the episode short. I should have saved! What's wrong with me? Ugh, I told you guys I was going to save, and I didn't save. Wow. I feel so dumb, and hopefully the recording is still going. I did not do this entire 87 time, 87 minute timer for nothing. Please. <sighs> anyway, um... Let's just get Cassandra and Sergio to hook up, and then we're going to get Candy over for Alexander's first time. Well, not first time. It's his first time with his sister. And I don't know how you get, like, pastel sims. She had, like, um the loss of virginity trait thing, I think. Like, it had, uh, like, a notification at the top, like, loss of virginity or something like that. Don't know how she got that in, like, um, I guess she got it from the MC command thing. I don't know how to get that. I wish I had that. But then again, that's, again, cheating. But mods are a sim's best friend. That's my motto right now. Mods are a sim's best friend. Also, guys, I recommend you all go check out Super Color Brothers. They're also a theory channel. Like I said, I'll get back to my theories eventually, and I have tons of theories to talk about, like... I think I did want to like um like I just have I just have so many theories like about Avengers I was watching a lot of Marvel films like over the past few weeks before Infinity War ever came out so yeah really you're gonna eat that cake keep your fitting image also we're inviting Sergio over I don't know what this is all about I oh they bought the hammer on her. That's what it meant. Okay. Like, I had a problem with this. I think it was a glitch in the game where they wouldn't come over. And look at that. They're coming over. Okay. So, what's going to happen is, since Sergio's here, we're going to have him for so long. Because Cassandra apparently loves being abused and hurt. So, we're not going to have, like, um... Alexander come back and that's not gonna happen for a while. Maybe I'll shorten Cassandra's name to like something else Whatever it is, wherever that is. Eh, stop being the cake Don't be a fatty We're gonna let that happen. We're gonna let Sergio do what he needs to do on Cassandra. Ah, uh, that sounds so dirty and this person 
literally stalking this poor teenage girl. What was her name again? Also, I think this is the girl that Sergio might knock up as well. Because, I don't know her name. I forgot her name. What was her name again? Luna. Which is why we're going to bring Alexander Gop to the mix. And have him come over here and be friendly and talk to her. And from that day forward, they're going to meet. So, yeah. Also, this kid. Oh, my gosh. Lucas Munch. He's pretty cute for a little kid. I mean, I wouldn't know. I didn't. I wasn't that interested in little boys at the time. And I was like, this, probably this kid's age. This snarky little kid walking all head first, straight up. Okay, let's go back to, um, because I want Sergio, uh, this will probably be, like, um, off-brand. Maybe Alexander will get her knocked up. Who knows? But what I know is that Alexander is not the rapey type, but eventually, after, like, well, after being, like, molested and raped by one of the aliens, he's gonna be, like, um, this rape person. Where are you going? What? No. 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 And I realize I can't, I can't, like, do that to her because we're having a little affair up here too. Okay. Now for this part, I'm not, I'm gonna, like, just the outfit. I know we're not supposed to, like, for Wicked Whims, like, you're not supposed to, like, do any of that. And for, like, just medicinal purposes, you don't, I know that Pastel Sim strives to not do this because she's getting monetized and I'm not, but I'm gonna let that happen and whenever they're ready, like, I'll just come back. They'll probably, like, go to different positions. Like, they just do that at random, even though you choose the one position you want. You literally, why haven't you stopped? I'm running right past you and you're... Showing no signs of fucking stopping. What the hell? Did you... Hello, Bella. What? Okay, thank you. You stopped. Oh, why did you... Yes, Mom. Um, I can either make a lot of sandwiches or fries. What are you watching? I'm recording. Huh? Recording. Oh, sorry. Tell me, Mom. Tell me now while I have time. I can go get you something to eat, but I won't be going tomorrow. God, just make a fucking little sandwich. What? Just make the sandwich. Sorry, guys. So I'll end the episode eventually. Um, how long has this been going on? Okay, so Bella, don't know where you came from. Out of the blue. Also, who is that handsome fellow walking up from the distance? Well, what do you know if it isn't Markiplier, the guy we saw yesterday? <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, Markiplier, you... Now, oh, I didn't, I'm glad I didn't leave him, like... Okay, so first of all, I'm going to keep these two occupied. Get back to Cassandra Goth. No! Okay. I knew they were going to change positions. I knew it. If I left them for five minutes, uh, that was going to happen. But, oh, forgot. She already does have that kind of stuff. And eventually, okay, you know what? 
since she's already got the implant, we might as well have this girl Okay, but first of all, do this. Like I say, guys, demonetization. Even though I don't know how I'm gonna get demonetized because I'm not even monetized. Oh. Actually, you know what? Mental cycle, that's normal. At least they have that. Nah, I don't think they're gonna care about freaking birth control. God, I have that thing in this, like... Like, I could, like, get this girl to have, like, a first kiss with me and everything like that, and, oh, of course, now the pregnancy comes up. But, of course, I turned that off. But, unfortunately, no, again, didn't turn it off. Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Ah, uh, shoot. Anyway, um, stop chatting. Let's check on Alexander for a minute. Okay, I am definitely getting flagged for this video. But thanks. What? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, is she flirting with me or am I flirting with her? Okay, this may be. This may get a bit graphic. Uh, thank you, tree. You saved my life. Oh, and I just fulfilled something. Okay. Hug someone. Um, uh, not much of a hugger. If this is gonna be a rape fest, take it seriously. There's no way that full-fledged dress did not come off. Anyway, like... Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let them do their thing right now, which is speed of the fucking clip. And I'm gonna let Danny McFlyer here. Since Luna is, like, technically a teen, I don't know how this will, how this will work. Alright. Like I said, totally getting flagged for this video. And still not caring. Anyway, um, good thing these trees are here to hide my shame. Anyway, speed up the clip, speed up the clip, speed up. And I will f level up in charisma. Where, where did that come up in romance terms? Thank you. And of course, they switch at random. I do not have the random thing on, if I recall. If I recall correctly, I don't have the random at will thing on. Oh, from Tina Eller. So I guess you can't really sleep with your kids. So I guess that's... Like, I won't have the jealousy trait thing. Okay, go a bit longer. I'm seeing how Cassandra's doing. Obviously, probably better than that. Okay. <sighs> yep, this is definitely demonetizing material. Except I'm not being flippin' monetized. Finally, okay. 
I still don't know how this is leveling up charisma and all that stuff. And Bella got get out of here. Nobody, your son, your son and daughter do not care about you right now. Do something romantic. This is kind of romantic. But what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay. You know what? I think you two are done for the day. Dude! What? Who's calling? No, I'm done with the traveling stuff. Oh, well, you were my, you'll probably go, you guys are probably gonna remind me. Save the, save ass. And that's what I'm exactly not gonna do. And wow. I should, after literally, I just quit them having some sexy time. He just said I really should be going. That definitely shows that he definitely is banging and then leaving. And Cassandra's still going to be banging him because I control her life. So, haha, I'm God to you. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, Cassandra, not going to get knocked up. I refuse. The only reason I did it is for him to knock this girl up. So, yeah. I was only gonna have Sergio do it, but then I had to add him to like my house or something like that. And I don't feel like adding him again and again and again. Also, I think he's not gone yet. I think I can still add him to my household. And he could keep banging Cassandra as much as he wants. But all I wanted was, like, um, Alexander to knock up that teen girl. And it probably did work. Which reminds me, I don't know how to freaking put up the freaking all this stuff. I probably should have saved the game when I could add Sergio to my household. And speaking of, I need to go to testing cheats again. I know this is cheating. Don't most YouTubers who play games cheat? That X was right there. Yeah, I had the family. Okay, so Sergio's now part of our family. I'm gonna I'm gonna add him like back to the other family he was in before. He's actually a really brilliant scientist. I actually ate made him Yeah, fine, go to work, whatever. As long as you freaking put on clothes. How's Alexander God doing? He's actually doing pretty good for himself. What am I talking about? I am so mean. I'm so bad, actually. That's so wrong. It's just so wrong. Okay. Okay, and you are done. You're done. Put your clothes back on. Thank you. And she's going to go for a phone. You're welcome. Hope you get knocked up. Oh, what am I talking about? She's going to walk home naked. I don't know who her parents are, but pretty sure. Now, I'm going to make sure, like, Cassandra is not going to get pregnant. I refuse. Like, the reason Pastel Sims was not getting her Sims pregnant is, despite having wicked wins, she... Thank you, Bella. How did you know? You were, like, in another world. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna have Cassandra, cause this icky sticky goo apparently is, like, not useful to her at all, and if she ends up pregnant, I'm gonna turn with the pregnancy. I'm sorry, I don't wanna, I don't, I'm not encouraging on killing babies. That's wrong. Thank you. Not pregnant. Good. Cause I don't want her to be. Why would I want her to be? Okay, and since she's such a baddie, I'm going to make her go to sleep, and she's so happy to be going to sleep. Who wouldn't want to be? Yay. Plus, I realize my sims haven't eaten anything all day, and I'm just now controlling them, so 
yeah. Also, another thing in the game that I added, this is really creepy, by the way. Um, I probably won't use it until, like, unless I want to kill off one of my sims. And this won't happen for a while. So, um... It's called the Haunted Mirror. And it's like the BM thing, except even worse. I'm gonna add it right about in Cassandra's room. If I can, all this stuff... Oh my gosh. First of all, get rid of this disgusting looking lamp. I won't use it unless, like, it's a resort if I want to use it in the game. I do want to use the, the haunted mirror in the game. I don't know how it works, though. Like, I know it works, like, you you say the name in the mirror and, like, all that stuff. Oh, <sighs> like, um... I know for a fact, like, you, like, work in the game, like, all that stuff, and, like, it just, I know it works with, like, one player. I don't know how it works. Usually the bride appears in your in your house somewhere, and it's dark and as gloomy as this house is, the goth residence, oh, you can really see anything in here. This is why I don't like dark floors or anything like that. What do you want? Shut up. Okay. Cassandra? Nobody cares, Bella. How did you even find out? You're not even in their lives anymore. Don't wash the dishes. God. You're already tired as ever, so go upstairs. Go upstairs. Seriously, shut up. I'm just getting ticked off right now. I don't know why. Probably because of the fact, oh yeah, he won't go to bed. And, you know, and yes, they cannot sleep in the same bed. And why would they? I really wish I knew what the, mod the like cheat was for this to like put up their thing and like everything like that. Seriously, how did this hunger go up so fast? Ugh. You just took a shower! What in the world? <sighs> this is why I can't have a huge household, but yet I have seven kids with this. The get. This guy has like seven kids, and I have to worry about the, the mothers and the kids. Oh, the whining. I love babies, but their whining is annoying. <laughs> What? Oh, I forgot I could cook a gourmet meal. Okay, so Luna, probably pregnant. Candy is send, gonna invite to King out. Now, Cassandra is the party girl type, but, um,. We're gonna have her put on her nice, nice looking outfit. Like, I don't want to kill Cassandra just yet. Like, she'll probably be so ashamed that she'll kill herself. And, um, she'll be probably ashamed again not to buy a guy who literally is the worst. The worst. And, literally, her brother will have to take care of her kid for him. So, yeah, that's gonna be... Okay, so, we're going to, um... Since Candy's our girlfriend, we're going to obviously do the right thing and not be rapey. Not give up the rapey guy, since we did it with Luna. And Luna will eventually come over, and she's going to probably end up knocked up with, um...
and she's probably going to end up knocked up with um, Alexander's baby, but I'm not accounting on for that. I really want Candy to be the one. Candy, well, I want Candy to like, have the ability to not have kids at all. And, of course, take off all your clothes. Except your shirt. Yay! Oh, isn't this beautiful? Anyway, uh, it's the middle of the night. I just realized that. I just realized it's like the middle of the night. And you know what? Since Sergio is so abusive, so horrible. Also, you probably were wondering, how many kids did he have? Well, good question. Um, Kaylin Bergerson. Warren Goth. Who's the father? You're probably wondering. Yeah, he was the father. I mean, not the mo not the father, the mother. See, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids. Wait a minute. Was wait who was Warren his son? Oh, so Bella had a baby with, with um, Malcolm Langraff, whose parents are already deceased. And... And obviously, Candy already has a kid, but still, well, Sergio's gonna be the abusive thing that he's uh, uh, abusive man that he is. He's literally he knows Cassandra Goss like trying to get being a whore, and sorry, person. Okay, do we need a close up on everything? Thank you. Okay, like we're not trying to get Candy pregnant or anything like that. Okay, so maybe I can take the pregnancy like off unless like the other girls like Yeah, we're disabling it for now. Like I don't want her to get like pregnant. I don't want like um Cassandra getting pregnant just yet I don't want Candy getting pregnant because Candy will eventually move in when we want her to Sergio's done, and, oh, I forgot, Ser Sergio's a serial killer, because he, um, killed somebody, and he hates kids, that's why he's, that's why he literally is heartbroken, and, like, literally upset. And that's why he probably has like seven kids because he's a player. Oh, I forgot. He could literally. I forgot. He can like transform people and all that stuff. Eventually, when he does tire of, like, Cassandra, he'll probably turn her into something. Or freeze her. Hold up! Found him. Perfect. Person. Okay.
Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Uh huh. I'm trying to make a joke. I will end the video eventually soon, guys. Don't worry. I'm getting kind of tired. And... What's going to happen is, after one night of hanging out, literally, okay. And that's probably why that's so inappropriate. And what's going to happen is we're going to have a little, where, where did he go? He's running. Blindly naked. What's going to happen is little old person right here is going to come over here and what's going to happen is again this is just strictly No, 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 no. This is not how it goes, my friend. Uh, but yeah, like, I know, like, Fast Little Sims doesn't show, like, um, like, she doesn't show, like, them doing it. And if she does, like, it's an accident. Oh my gosh, oh, it's so bad. But seriously, like, it's bad either way. It's really bad anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Um, Okay, enjoy. Grab a serving. Anyway, like I said, Sergio has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of kids. And he will do anything to get Cassandra God pregnant. And he'll leave her. That's what he's gonna do. So, yeah, I'm gonna get him to a bathroom. Which is right here. Thank you. And eventually, like, I want him to transform something. And while well, that Alexander Goth is getting a treatment of his own medicine, which is not something that he wants or anything like that. And after, like, I'm going to say after a traumatizing, like, like, since, like, after this forced, like, action upon him, He's literally going to be traumatized from doing anything.
So yeah, um, this has been a long episode, guys, and right now I'm gonna have like I'm gonna have like um Alexander like he's gonna be so upset. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to Alexander. No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, uh, it's like a meme I saw in a video. Um, what's gonna happen is we're gonna just have this happen to Alexander, and what's gonna happen is Alexander is going to be is molested right now. So yeah, uh, don't worry, guys. Alexander will either one commit suicide or two. He will freaking not be happy by the end of the century. Um, now, Sergio does not love Cassandra, guys. Just get that through your head. He doesn't love her. All he wants is her. A boute. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use, like, um, because I, I like, up. Sergio, just remember, Sergio does not love Cassandra. He's only using her because she's hot, big boobs, little booty, but also very hot. So, yes. And this is the most inappropriate episode of Sims that you could ever put to boot. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do one more thing of, like this wait a minute now we, we can't end on a honesty like this let me look for it let me look for it There, that's the molester scene. I don't know what, what, why I said that, but, um, yeah. Yeah, so Alexander is going to be traumatized. And with that, guys, I'm going to have Alexander keep getting molested. And then as soon as it's over, which will be in a few minutes, guys, don't worry. Eventually they'll end it. But, um... Really, guys? See? There you go. Alexander has been molested for the very first time! Yay! And he's not gonna... He may be happy right now, but he is not having it. Because Wolfgang has slept with him, and he's not happy about it. So, Alexander's gonna go here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Alexander come over here, and... Technically, no gay people cannot get pregnant. I don't know how, I don't know why. Assholes don't count. So, yeah. And like I said, Alexander will be a major asshole to this guy who molested him and probably even kill, kill him. But yeah, guys, like I said, I'm gonna like pause the episode here. And Alexander, give us something to eat and clean this up. Okay, I, re I really forgot Sergio was a gourmet chef, something like that. And Cassandra and him are asleep. So, yeah. An event, and I'm going to have him go to sleep after he eats. And I'm going to end the episode here. So let me just get Alexander to eat at the big table. Yeah, the big boy's table. Okay, eat, 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 eat. I'm going to have, I'm going to like end the episode with them going to sleep. So, yeah. And I, like I said, guys, long episode, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Sims 4. If you want to see me play, like, Sims 2 or 3, just type down in the comments below if you guys want to see Sims 2 or 3. 
like being played while you're going upstairs to wash dishes. You have a perfectly good clean sink down here. Uh, you can see why Pastel Sims gets mad at this game. Venting so much. Okay, so as soon as he goes to bed, I'm going to end the episode here. And, well, there you go, I guess. And like I said, we're going to, next episode, I will have Alexander, like, um, I'm going to have Alexander and, stop, pause. See, I told you the game's broken. Um, next episode, I'm going to have Alexander, like, him and Candy. And uh, next episode, I'm going to have, like, Sergio and Cassandra have lots and lots of, like, constant sexy time. But also, I'm going to have, like, Alex Alexander shorten his name, first of all. Him and Cassandra's name, change, change Cassandra's name to another name. And Alex, I'm just going to name him Alex. Alex Goth. <sighs> and with that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to have Alex tell Cassandra about his experience about being molested by a guy he barely knew about, who he thought he was trying, he thought he was going to have a overnight relationship with, with but it was molested instead. And with that, we're going to see what happens next. Cassandra probably will end up pregnant. Sergio will either will leave her and go back to his household, which I don't know how to do that. Actually, I do. Never mind. Because I'll have Sergio move out. And uh, Cassandra will be ending up pregnant and probably end up killing herself. I don't know. And with it, um, I guess Candy will die of a horrible disease, something like that. And what will happen is, like, um, I guess Alexander will look after, since lo after losing his girlfriend, he, Alexander will look after Cassandra's kid. And will eventually, um, off himself and Cassandra's kid will be all alone. Eventually, Cassandra's kid will hope will be a girl and fall in love and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, that is all for the video today. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.